a major pot bust at the border. It's what the drugs were disguised as that is kind of a little bit of a right? head scratch. It's I interesting. Never thought of this, interesting. But Border Patrol agents say they scanned a semi truck last Wednesday at the Fort Street cargo facility in Detroit when they found more than 2,100 pounds of marijuana. It was hidden in boxes labeled foam pool toys. Agents <laughs> took the drugs and the trailer. A deputy in central Florida set to face charges after tasing a man who was pumping gas. We've got surveillance video of the incident. This was actually back in February in Orlando, but you see uh, the 26-year-old man, once he was hit by the taser, it caught fire. His attorneys say he was covered with gasoline and suffered burns on three quarters of his body. Investigators to the deputy had been called to the area after complaints of a group of motorcyclists pointing guns at people and that the man was resisting arrest at the time. Sheriff says both the deputy and the 26 year old motorcyclist were both going to be charged in the case. Well, tomorrow, the people mover in downtown Detroit will be back in service after a two year hiatus. Another COVID victim as part of the launch. The people mover will be free to ride for the next 90 days. Riders will also notice some differences with the Joe Lewis Arena stop now named West Riverfront Station. Huh. Uh, the people mover runs from 7 a.m. through 7 p.m. Monday to Friday, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Saturday. It will be closed on Sunday. Masks are not required, but they are recommended.